Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I like Gordon Ramsay, the guy on TV. He's the uh, chef who yells at people. <laughs> Never eaten in a restaurant of his. But I've watched a lot of his shows. He's an entertaining character, and he appears, appears to know quite a bit about how restaurants should be run. And so he's encountered a problem. A lot of people sent this to me from Fox News. Michael Dorgan wrote this. Gordon Ramsay's pub taken over by brazen squatters who threaten legal action if evicted. There's a lot to unpack here, but it's happening over in England. A group of professional squatters have taken over a London pub owned by celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay and are brazenly threatening legal action against anyone who tries to kick them out. At least six people broke into Ramsay's York and Albany Hotel and Gastropub, which is for sale for $16 million, boarded up the windows, locked the door with kitchen utensils, and glued the locks. Now, Ramsey was in the process of trying to get out of the building. Uh, he was in a multi-million dollar deal, according to The Sun. And of course, he's the star of Hell's Kitchen, The American Dream, Next Level Chef, uh, Kitchen Nightmares, and so on. He's, he's all over. Shocking photographs show the squatters holed up in the trendy pub, one of whom can be seen barefoot and sprawled across a couch that is inside the building. Another one was scrolling a smartphone uh, while sitting around with things nearby like empty water bottles and wine glasses. And a blue sleeping bag was dumped on another sofa while a pair of crutches were also visible. The squatters slapped up a legal warning sign in the front door, defending their takeover and cautioning against any eviction attempts. The invaders say they have the right to be there since it is a non-residential building, which makes absolutely no sense. Because if it's not a residential building, it means it's not zoned, I have to guess, for people to live there. That is in the kitchen and restaurant portion. It does say there's a hotel attached to it. I'm not sure how that works. But the point is that, oh, you can't kick us out. It's non-residential. Uh, then you can't be in there either. You can't, you can't live in a non-residential building. The occupation of a person's non-residential property without their permission is not itself a crime in the U.K., Though police can take action if crimes are subsequently committed, including damaging the property or stealing from it, according to Wales Online. Now, the question, though, is can the true owner have you evicted? And, and it's not even an eviction, uh, but ousted, I guess, is the correct word here, to literally have the police come in and toss you. And I believe they can. It's a question of they get involved or not, because I pointed out here in America, they go, oh, it's a civil matter. Take care of it. But I suspect that somebody as high profile as Gordon Ramsay and his business partners in a $16 million building, should be able to go to the police and go, look, we've got this building up for sale, and people just moved in, and they're just in there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up our deal. So take notice that we occupy the property, and at all times there's at least one person in the occupation. The notice reads, as if that means something. Any entry or attempt to enter into these premises without our permission is therefore a criminal offense. Well, wait. If me entering is a criminal offense, so is your entering a criminal offense. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> um, it says, is therefore a criminal offense as any one of us who is in physical possession is opposed to such entry without our permission. If you attempt to enter by violence or by threatening violence, we will prosecute you. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. They appear to be saying that because they're in there, they have rights. You're just going to say, Steve, squatter's rights. Well, squatter's rights refer to certain situations generally where there's a residence or a piece of property that's just like like a vacant piece of property somebody starts building on it or something but here where it is a business and somebody has moved into it um if what they're saying is true you could walk into a store today and go well i'm here i i now have squatters rights you can't evict me i'm i'm occupying the store the notice goes on to say that a violation could result in a six-month imprisonment and or fine of up to $6,200. <laughs> I love it when people just make stuff up. Fox News Digital reached out to Ramsey but did not get a comment and response. And, of course, he's too busy. He might not even know this is happening. If you want to get us out, you have to issue a claim for possession in the county court or in the high court, the notice says, and it was signed by the occupiers. The occupiers. Lower case, by the way, says so it's not their official name. Ramsey, of course, is known as a world-renowned chef. He has a fiery temper and occasionally on camera has profanity-laced outbursts. He called the police and is trying to secure an eviction notice, according to The Sun. I say to send Ramsey in personally. 
Just have them go in there with cameras rolling and go, dude, just be yourself. <laughs> now, a source told The Sun it's an absolute nightmare scenario for poor Gordon. The pub was temporarily closed while he was finalizing a new lease, and during this handover, a gang of professional squatters somehow bypassed security and CCTV and got themselves in. So they've already presumably damaged stuff to get in, which is also a problem. They've now boarded themselves in the building and are slowly taking over the place, leaving their junk everywhere and brazenly telling locals this is now their home. One shabby-looking squatter refused to speak to the publication when he's confronted outside, but he did have two black eyes and a cut above one of them, was wearing a hoodie, a knee compression bandage, and sliders, sandals for those of you who don't know that. He then began recording and hiding around the back of the building. The building was purchased in 2017 by a film director who subsequently leased the property to Ramsey on a 25-year lease. Ramsey also features on Fox shows Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars and MasterChef. Again, I don't know if their laws on squatting are radically different than our laws over here. We've heard of all kinds of crazy stories where somebody moves into a house and goes, it's mine, and the police won't kick them out, even though the police could. But they often say, ah, it's a civil matter. But here, the squatters have taken over a non-residential property. And that's what I'm really amused by. Because they can't claim that they legally live there. Because it's not zoned for that. At least the restaurant portion is, not that appears to be where they are. And so this funny notion that you can put a sign in the door that goes, if you try to kick us out, you'll be prosecuted. Um, Who's going to do the prosecution? Because presumably... That means that the squatters would call the police on you and say, we want them prosecuted. For what? Breaking and entering. Well, generally speaking, breaking and entering is a complaint put forward by the legal owner. No, we broke in here. We're occupiers. Therefore, we want them prosecuted for breaking into their own building and trying to remove a nuisance? That's not how it works. That's not how it works. So I do have friends in England, and if the laws are so radically different that you can actually break into a commercial building and claim to own it now because you are occupying it, and by putting a sign on the door threatening people with prosecution, (laughs) if that is actually something that will work, and I'm not talking about working for a day or two. I'm talking about working at the point where the courts are going to go, huh, they got you. They put the sign up and they glued the locks. Uh, nothing you can do about it. Then please let me know. <laughs> I just don't think that's how it works. I just don't think so. So the stories from Fox News, Michael Dorgan wrote it, and a whole bunch of people sent me this weekend. Gordon Ramsay's pub taken over by brazen squatters who threaten legal action against anybody who tries to evict them from the place that they're squatting in and trespassing in and breaking all kinds of laws in because damaging the property is also illegal. You can't just break in and go, I'm here now, so I get to mess stuff up. (laughs) I almost used the wrong word there. So there you go. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. You're not obligated to win. You're obligated to keep trying to do the best you can every day.